Na Patia, 22 years of age, started fighting when he was 10. Five feet, four and a half inches tall. He's had 40 professional fights, 10 losses and two draws. And in the blue corner, Jai Pet Saw Vorapin. 23 years of age, started fighting when he was 10. Five feet, three and a half inches tall. He's had 51 professional fights for 10 losses, five draws, weighing in at 126 pounds. The referee calling the two fighters in to commence five rounds of Muay Thai. Silipen in the red corner, Jai Pitt in the blue. Posturing going on, not a lot of action though. Tactical manoeuvres here as Jai Pet fires the first roundhouse that scores on the inside of the thigh. Silipan now standing back from Jai Pet. And uh, Jai Pet quite content to be the observer here in this first round. He's fires in a, a punch kick combination push kick that was too, it wasn't really anything other than just designed to strike the mark, not much power, there's a roundhouse aimed head high by Silipan, oh snap, he heard that one smack as it cr crashed in onto the thigh of Silipan there by Jai Pet in the blue corner, hard kick indeed, those kicks to the thigh can be very painful, Although the Thai fighters have been conditioned to take any number of those kicks in a contest, you rarely see a Thai fighter go down by a, a leg kick. Whereas a lot of the kick boxers who come over to Thailand to fight against the Muay Thai fighters find that they cannot take the punishment on the on the thigh that the uh, the Thai fighters administer. Subsequently, a lot of kickboxing contests, the leg kicks have been banned, uh, mainly because of the punishment that the Thai fighters can issue to a, a martial artist who's not been trained and been able to accept the hard kicks to the legs. Silipin. Standing his ground in the centre of the ring, Jai Pet not too keen to advance in on him at this stage. Both fighters demonstrating their weaponry without much intent at the moment. They're still working out the strategies that will be most effective. There's a good roundhouse kick to the body by Jai Pet. There's a, a punch low leg kick there by Silipin as the bell sounds to end the first round. Very even first round, interesting first round. Both fighters looking extremely sharp. There's the roundhouse kick to the body and there's a good example of how to defend yourself against a, a roundhouse kick by Jai Pet. By, you saw the way in which he raised up his knees so that his shins became a shield. That's the classic way of defending a Muay Thai particularly against leg kicks. Better to take it on the shin bone than on the thigh. Good roundhouse kick there by Silipan, got under the guard. And back comes Jai Pet with a similar roundhouse kick. Leg grab, oh lovely done there. Well, that was classic ploughing for you. Leg grab and then plough your opponent down by striking in with a leg kick. A lovely head high kick by Jai Pet, Jai Pet in scintillating form here at the moment in round two. Well, first class work by Jai Pet. And now Silipan stalking in onto Jai Pet. Roundhouse kick but couldn't hold his footing. And Jai Pet would be well pleased with his performance so far. And uh, Silipan uh, is probably trying to work out 
a means of trying to contain Jai Pitt at this stage. Sillipin in the red corner. Defending now, got his hands up high. But that Sillipin still, Jai Pitt, should I say, still gets the knee underneath the guard there. Cheap push kick by Sillipin. There's the roundhouse kick by Jai Pitt. Another good roundhouse kick to the head by Jai Pet. Jai Pet now being backed onto the ropes as Silipin advances forward. Punch kick combination by Silipin, forcing Jai Pet back. Well, Jai Pet not all that keen to get in and mix it with uh, Silipin. He sort of waits for his opportunity and then scores with those roundhouse kicks. Doesn't want to get in there and do kick for kick exchange. Whereas that's exactly what Silipin wants to do. He wants to mix it in. He believes he can be the stronger of the two fighters. And uh, Joe Pitt moving around the ring. Doesn't want to get into a slugfest with Silipin at this stage. Good knee strike by Joe Pitt. But Silipin still advancing in onto him. Silipin, roundhouse kick to the body, deep push kick, roundhouse kick punch combination by Silipin. There's that deep push kick by Silipin, keeping Jai Pet away as the bell sounds. And uh, certainly the, the beginning of that round would have to have gone to Jai Pet uh, for his fine work, particularly with the roundhouse kicks. That one's aimed head high. But towards the end of the round, Silipin came right back. So after two rounds, fairly even fight. Possibly Jai Pet in the blue corner, slightly ahead as now as he picks his mark with punches and kicks. But look at Silipin, just brushes those attacks aside and keeps on advancing forward with the roundhouse kicks. Knee defense by Jai Pet, but Silipin still moving it on to him. Silipin will not be phased by any of the strike power of Jai Pet. There he goes, keeps on forcing his way forward onto Jai Pet. And Jai Pet wondering what he must do here because no matter what he does against the Silipen, he just keeps on advancing forward. Silipen in the red. Moving on to Jai Pet. Referee having a word. By the, uh, the groin kick, I think, he was concerned about. Now uh, Silipin keeps on the attack. Jai Pet punches in defence. Moving back. There's a good roundhouse kick by Silipin. Jai Pet comes back with two roundhouse kicks, but he can't stop the advance of Silipin onto him. Silipin keeps on moving forward. Jai Pet having great difficulty keeping Silipin at bay here. Silipin prepared to take a bit of punishment to get in close and then he fires in his roundhouse kicks. Two double roundhouse kicks on the Jai Pet. Jai Pet unable to advance now as Silipin keeps up the battering barrage with those roundhouse kicks to the body. Temps of a, of a elbow there by Silipin and Silipin just keeps on moving forward. Jai Pet standing back trying to counter kick counter punch but it's Silipin to the delight of his handlers is just moving forward all of the time and scoring Silipin now piling up the points Jai Pet defensive against the attacks of Silipin punch kick combination by Silipin Jai Pet pinned onto the ropes as uh, Silipin just stands his ground Punches and then the knee strike, or should I say a leg strike. Another roundhouse. Oh, nice, that was better work there by Jai Pet. Lovely plough there to grab the leg of Silipin to stop his advance and uh, ploughed him onto the canvas. Roundhouse kicks by Jai Pet. Knee strikes by Silipin. Silipin keeping going, keep moving forward onto Jai Pet. And Jai Pet takes a solid elbow there to the face. And, uh, but uh, Silipin just keeps on going, what can he do? Plow attempt by Silipin. Jai Pet holds his hands in his air, but uh, really, I think you'd find that the, on the, as far as the judges are concerned, there's the elbow, it didn't really strike with much power,
but certainly as far as the judges are concerned, uh, that would be a, uh, a strong point round for Silipin in the third. Round four. I have Silipin ahead on points now, and it's up to Jai Pet to try to do something to take the initiative here against Silipin. Silipin is constantly on the attack, and Jai Pet doesn't seem to have any weapon that can really stop his advance forward. There's a good head high kick by Silipin as he moves in yet again on to Jai Pet. Jai Pet dancing around the defence. Silipin. That was a lovely inside thigh kick by Silipin. Jai Pet unable to stand on his feet from that attack. And there goes Silipin again in with head high kick. So Silipin looking good here in the fourth round. Silipin in the red advancing now onto Jai Pet. Good roundhouse kick to the body by Silipin. Jai Pet counter kicks but misses. Knee strike by Silipin. Elbow attempt by Jai Pet and a knee strike, another elbow. Jai Pet won't give in. Now an elbow by Silipin. Elbow by Jai Pet. Another elbow by Silipin. This is what you call encounter of the heavy kind of Muay Thai. This really does set, test the metal of any fighter. Elbow exchanges, hard knees, knee, and roundhouse kicking. No quarter given, no quarter asked for. These fighters do mean business. This is make or break at time in round four. And Silipan takes an elbow and gives one back. Elbows again, hard elbows. And knee strike by Jai Pet. How much longer can they keep this? Attacking barrage up for oh, the referee says keep on going. The, the the fourth round has almost expired, but there comes Silipin back into it again, and there's another elbow attempt by Jai Pet as he comes in hard with his knees. Roundhouse kicks and an advance forward again by Silipin to finish off the round. Oh, that was a what you'd call a consolidating move by Silipin. He was slugging it out with Jai Pet. And there he goes in again with the elbow. And uh, Jai Pet looking at Silipin to sort of say, what more can I do? And Silipin says, I'll, you'll need to do a lot more because I've still got a lot more juice left inside my system. As he now looks around the referee and his corner to see how many more seconds remaining in this round as the bell sounds to end a very entertaining round of Muay Thai. What a contest. Knee strikes, elbow strikes, as both fighters fought to show who was the ringmaster of this contest. There's the roundhouse kicks and knee strikes. There's the punches, and there was plenty of elbows in there as well. There's an elbow by Jai Pet. Another one by Jai Pet. There's the roundhouse kicking by Silipin, and there's his elbow attack right onto the jaw, acknowledged by Jai Pet, and Jai Pet comes back with a heavy elbow himself. Fortunately for both fighters, there was no real striking score by those elbows as we go now into the fifth and final round. I have Silipin in the red corner ahead slightly on points, but don't write off Jai Pet in the blue. He's a dynamic fighter. Anything can happen still in this contest. Oh, good elbow there by Silipin. Elbow back by Jai Pet. Now into the grapple. Grapple's on again. Knee strikes by Silipin. Knee by Jai Pet in the, as a counter-attack. Good knee again by Jai Pet, trying to ward off the attack of Silipin. Silipin realising he's ahead on points, but by not very much, and he can't afford to go cruisy. Oh, that was a... That could be the winning kick by Silipin. That was head high. That would have scored him top marks, and he could probably afford to go cruising now. I think that could have been the deciding blow, that head-high kick. 
Silipan knows now he's got the points advantage. He can afford to coast a little bit now, and it's up to Jai Pet to get back into the action. He needs to score and score quickly. Jai Pet, in my estimation, is now trailing behind on points. That decisive head high kick by Silipan that scored would have scored him top marks, and I think Jai Pet realizing now that. He may have let this fight slip away from him. And Silipan now going into a, a semi-defensive mode, uh, anticipating that Jai Pet will need to do the attacking to win this contest. And I don't think Jai Pet can break through the defence of Silipan. There's the Silipan uh, camp, confident, now that their fighter is in command. And Jai Pet, though, he's not going to give in. There is his... There's his camp. They want him to continue on. They want him to keep on moving forward. He's got to do the attacking. He can't afford to coast. Silipan's in the box seat. And now Jai Pet. Has he got one more attack left in him that could strike in onto Silipan, impress the judges, and maybe salvage the fight? Crowd waiting back as he saw a bit of a. An elbow there by Silipan. Elbow strike by Jai Pet, but missed the mark. I think Jai Pet may have run his race. Silipan standing back as the bell sounds. I think you'll find Silipan is the winner. Well, a first class contest though. Silipan did well in the in the final fifth round with a head high kick. This is it. Oh, that was the clincher in my estimation. And you can see by the acknowledgement of Jai Pet that the, the referee and the judges would have claimed that that was the kick that won the contest. So there's Silipin, the winner.